Hi, ni hao, Chef Tom. This beautiful swordfish. We're gonna make pen sear swordfish. I'm gonna spray some cooking oil on my cutting board. Here we go. I'm gonna add some salt right here. Pepper. And I always got this beautiful dry rub for seafood from the Detroit, the Eastern Market. And now we're just gonna place the fish here. And we're gonna add more oil. I got this one in a spray bottle. More kosher salt. I'm gonna treat this fish like the steak. It's beautiful. The rub generously. We want them to nice sear, beautiful, lots of flavor. Now we're just gonna rub the fish like that, sucking all the ingredients. Nothing go to waste, huh? Like this. Make sure the pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna add in some cooking oil. And once I see the oil start dancing, that's mean the oil is nicely hot. We're gonna put the fish in. Beautiful. Just like that. And you see even the four corner, the edging of the fish, I give them a nicely rub on the, all the spices. We're gonna let them cook nicely seared. Don't touch it yet for three minutes and then we give them a quick flip. My stove is not level so I'm gonna switch around get the other side have an evenly cooking time. One more minute. Usually I don't like to cook my fish overcook. The inner temperature, you should get to 140 or 137, it's good enough. Oh, look at that, how beautiful. You take a close look, that's money. Oh, look at that. Oh, I gotta flip this one. Oh, that's about inch thick here. And this is closer than an inch, but it's okay, it's really no big deal. See those? Dry rub, pepper, and the salt will give them a really nice flavor. I can show you real quick here. If you see, right here, yep, you want to both sides here, I would say about quarter inch done in the middle still kind of like a medium rare that is the time to take away it looks good to me now i'm going to turn the heat really low to simmer just to let them simmer for another minute because the low heat they usually just trying to cook through the fish by not overcook it if you too high heat it might overcook it and the meat will become really tough again you see this is the smaller one this one's done, I'm gonna take this one out. Place it on my cutting board, just let them rest. And this one probably cook for another minute. You see right here, it's still kind of like pretty rare. This side is done. And I love the skin. The skin is the delicacy. So what I'm gonna do with the skin, I will flip the fish this way, and turn the heat to medium, and just place the skin here, let them sear the skin to crispy for probably two to three minutes. I think it's done. This is how you do pen sear swordfish. And it's perfect with some dipping sauce I made a couple days ago. I hope you like the video. 
I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.